Welcome to Synagogues of Africa, Part 3. In this episode, we're going to check out several synagogues in the country of Morocco. Our first one takes us to the Moshe Nachon Synagogue in Tangier. Tangier is a significant port on the Strait of Gibraltar and has about 950,000 residents. This synagogue was built in the 1870s and was renovated in 1994. This sign reads, Chazeku es Bedeka Bais, which in English means, Let's strengthen the upkeep of this building. If there are any Jews left in Tangier, it is less than a hundred. Marrakesh is in western Morocco and has about 930,000 people. And this is the Slat al-Azama Synagogue, which was started in 1492, but not necessarily in the building shown here. This is when the Jews had to flee Spain, and they went over the Straits of Gibraltar into Morocco. By the way, that sign in the big print reads, Kol Avrechim, which would be a room designated as a study room for young men learning Torah. And by the way, the word slot in Arabic means a prayer house. This is the front entrance to a synagogue known by several names called uh, Slat Le Kahal, Mogadar, because the city used to be called Mogadar in Morocco. And Kahal is the word for congregation in Hebrew. It's also been known as Sharit Fila. It was built in 1882. Simon Atias was a benefactor of the congregation, and he died 10 years after it was built. The synagogue is now a museum. Oh, and the city of Mogador is now known as Esweira, located in the western portion of Morocco. Esweira also has another synagogue. The Rabbi Chaim Pinto, as shown here. Rabbi Pinto lived from 1748 to 1845. The shul is located on the second floor of this building. There are two women's sections, one on the main floor, or the second floor of this building, and one on a level above it, the third floor. Our final stop in this episode takes us to the city of Tetuan, which is in the northern part of Morocco. And this is the Isaac ben Valid Synagogue, titled after the name of this famous rabbi who was also known as the Fair, F-A-I-R. His full name, Rabbi Isaac ben Gualid, who lived from 1777 to 1870. At one time, Tetuan had 16 synagogues, and it was the heart of the Sephardic community in Morocco. We conclude episode one of our look at synagogues in Morocco, and we'll continue with the second episode of the Jewish presence in the country of Morocco. So, see you soon.